it's Josh here and on today's video the GP 1200R with the 1.8 liter supercharged Yamaha engine getting some parts for this gonna put them on there take it out for a test ride and see if we gain any top speed <laughs> Alright, I just received a package in the mail, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what it is. This is going to be a jet ski part. I'm pretty sure it's not like a unboxing from a fan mail type of thing. I'm anxious to see what we got here. This is right in the middle of the whole uh, coronavirus pandemic thing. Everybody's on lockdown. What have I been doing? Working on jet skis, ordering parts. I was like, I don't know if they're going to show up because... What if somebody's like, hey, I can't, you know, the post office isn't open or something. But it still is, so good. There we go. You can see it's an intake grate, but let me open it all the rest of the way up. Oh, Okay, there it is. This is a Riva intake grate. I believe these were made by R&D, but honestly, I just went and bought literally only one of these I could find for sale that would go on here. I have no clue if this is a 1200 or an 800. Some of you super sleuths who know these machines probably can tell by the look of this area here. And if you do, if you can tell, Go ahead and comment down below what this is, an 800 or a 1200. Here is the comparison to the stock one. This is a stock 1200R, and this is the one I just got. And I would guess by the ramp steepness here that this is for a 1200. So this, is again, this one would lose a couple of miles per hour top speed versus the 800 version of this. But this one, I believe, because of the steeper ramp there, gives you a little bit better hole shot so i'm not like going for the absolute top speed on this so i think this should work out just fine this box showed up so let's take a look what we got Ooh, free wrench inside i hope it really is there and they didn't steal it Jacob would have, would have snatched the wrench if he was selling this. Okay, they left it in there. Sweet. Oh, 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 yeah. Look at that. It's one shiny piece right there. You can see what I've got. It is a 1522, which is basically the highest you can get for the 155s without getting like a custom you know, pitched prop. So I figure we're just going to go big on the prop. And if it doesn't have enough power to spin this, then it's time to up the power. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get the impeller and the intake grate installed on this thing. And then I'm going to take it out for a test ride. Going out to test this thing out. I've got an intake grate added impeller. It's a 1522 impeller soulless brand new intake grate is a Reba only one I could find I believe it's a 1200 grate <clears throat> and uh, conditions are not perfect but I really don't I was looking at the weather it looks like I'm not gonna have a chance for quite some time so I said I better take advantage of this opportunity
I'm gonna go ahead and speed check it right now though. I have limited battery, limited light, everything. So, the initial hookup feels good. The top speed feels much better than it was before. Just getting my speed app out. It's gonna be difficult to get a good time, a good check here, but we're gonna go for it if this thing will ever load. <clears throat> oh, good and that. I tried to buy it, but my crap wasn't hooked up right. Okay. Here we go. Trying to think of what's the best direction to go into the waves. I should probably stay in close-ish. ripping 65 there crap I need some better water gosh man it's a handful on these waves Seventy-four. Whew. <sighs> Holy cow.
I'm gonna take a break for a minute. We'll see if it calms down a little bit. All right, everybody, I'm heading back out. Sun has gone down. Hoping that the water smooths out a little bit. I'm not in a real big rush. I feel like it's calmed down a bit. So, so far, the cavitation is much improved and the whole shot is greatly improved. I still need to do the work to seal up the pump and all that sort of stuff. So, I still have to do that and I think we'll have even better hole shot. And then I do need to get an aftermarket ride plate for this thing. And I know I need to do a little bit of playing around with the, uh, there's like some trim tabs on the back that can be shimmed. I need to do some stuff with that. And I'm probably gonna do some research and see what the really fast ones are these, how they're set up. I'm just idling around right now. I'm just gonna clear out my foot rails real quick. You can hear the shutter on this thing. It doesn't have a blow off valve, which is something I kind of want to get because I don't like all that boost, you know, messing with the supercharger and the clutches and all that stuff. But so far, 74 miles per hour is I'm pretty sure it's the fastest I've ever gone on a jet ski or a personal watercraft, Wave Runner, whatever. Sea Doo, Wave Runner, Kawasaki, what have you. I just gave it a chance to warm up. Seeing if the waves will die down a bit. It's really calming to be out on the water. Like social distancing and all that crap. <laughs> oh man. It's funny because I just do what I normally do anyway. Work on jet skis and go test them. I normally don't see very many people at all. Waves are calming down a bit. I gotta bust out my cell phone. Get the app going. Isn't it classic that I'm almost out of battery on my phone? Oh man, it's ridiculous. Okay. Give it another shot here. The best times we're going either straight into the waves or straight out of the waves. So we're gonna stick with that, do that again. Faster, but it was hopping and skipping around. Go through my wake. Basically, the smoother it gets, the faster we're gonna go. I really, really want to hit 80. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back into shore. I'm gonna charge up my cell phone, wait, see if it gets a little calmer, and then I'll give it another shot.
light is really going away now. Water is slightly calmer. Um, just kind of looking at last opportunity to make a run this evening. So gonna try it, see what happens. It looks much brighter on the camera than it is in real life. A good speed here but tough when the conditions aren't perfect okay seeing great speeds right now. Ah, I really don't think that this water is smooth enough to get any higher than that. There's no way we're gonna get any good water. Might as well rip around just a little bit.
bogey it. I was holding like a steady skip across this little chop. I mean, my miles per hour aren't any higher, but whew. just everything was just like a rush towards my face. Now I'm just gonna head back in, guys. It's too, it's too dark now. that's it for me riding this evening so back to me in the garage clearly it's very difficult for me to get a good top speed run with the waves being the way they were a bit choppy and the big thing was when i was like going over the waves and uh, the, the whole ski was kind of unsettled and kind of dancing around kind of like uh, on a dirt bike if you're going through the whoops and the bike kind of starts going side to side so it kind of had that feeling to it Looking forward to getting this thing out on the next smooth day and get a proper speed run in for you guys. If you are excited for more videos on this GPR SHO project, give this video a thanks up. Give this video a thanks up. It was here, nice. Hey, hey.